Finally! Apex has come home to Rory McIlroy PGA Tour, and I've just gone and bought it on the PlayStation 4. Uh, they don't actually sell it on the store anymore, or they don't sell it like new, yeah, so I had to buy it secondhand from GameStop, and it still cost me 40 bucks, but I said it's worth it. I wanted to maybe try and get the Platinum Trophy on PS4, but then I found out I can't get the Platinum Trophy on PS4 because there's two trophies that are uh, play a daily tournament and play a weekly tournament, and they don't run those tournaments anymore, so I physically Cannot get the Platinum Trophy no matter what I do. But we're back. I thought I'd do a round on Rory McIlroy PGA Tour just to, for that for the old time's sake, for the banter. Uh, it's the Open this weekend. I'm doing lots of golf club content. Um, so if you enjoy my golf content, go check that out. For now, let's just jump in and play a round on Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. Let's just get back into the swing of things. I'm going to play as Ricky Fowler. We're going to play on St. Andrews. I know it's a classic open course, so why the hell not play St. Andrews? I know the open isn't at St. Andrews this year. It's at Royal um, Port Rush, but it will still be fun to play St. Andrews, I think. If you want to see any of the fantasy courses or anything like that going forward, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will bring it to you. But for now, let's jump in and play around at St. Andrews. Boom, boom. I'm excited to get back into this. Just tr try and do a round, see how we go. I did play... Um, the tutorial, the intro and stuff yesterday, so I'm not going in completely fresh, but pretty much. I haven't done like a full round or anything, so yeah. It should be fun. It should be fun. There's the US Open Championship where Rory McIlroy held off Martin Keimer. I think that was the one, was it? No, it wasn't actually. That was a different one. Anyway. Let's freaking do this, boys. Presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo at the famous old course. It's actually this Saint month. Andrews. I think July, so three often, years ago, is when Rory McIlroy first came to the channel. The first time and was it 2016? It could have been 2015. Day. No, I think it was Why 16. All the commotion I'm honestly not positive, but it was in July. I know that much. Around. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to have this thing on, this like, uh, thing that shows me well, where the ball goes. Like a that you makes it a little bit it, too like easy, else, to be honest. When so. I first it, I didn't Let's think it was uh, change the controller layout. And after all these years, every time you play it, it just appears a little different. But one thing you should do, take a local caddy. They'll point you into some interesting directions to try and navigate all those evil little pot bunkers. I did take one of the local caddies. Right, we're going to play on tour. Because that's uh, what is most enjoyable to me, junk. for sure. And like every other golfer, I turned to my caddy and I said, Hey, Jimmy, is that okay? Oh, this he is the said, one where I can't even zoom in or anything? Okay. Okay. Hit another one. 349 to the edge. All right, we can do that. That was pretty damn good, I think. We're not going to drive it into the water. Shot right here. So that should be just perfect. And it is 3.30 down the middle for our like first shot on Roy McIlroy Rich, PGA Tour in a very, like very that, long time. Still be playing this game for a living. Second 57 shot yards. For you have the 59-yard wedge. Put a little bit of loft on this bad boy. And wanted to go around 56, I would say, and then stop up. Oh, my God. That was one of the worst shots you'll ever oh, see in, like in you golf. A right there, Frank. Well, that was a flyer. Okay, I need to get used much. to that. Playing this par four, still not on the green after See, I haven't played shot. on tour at all either. Done. I was playing on arcade in the third shot. tutorial Maybe and shit. Get away here with Pop. Frank, you like his chances to walk away I'm used to swinging here. for the golf club well, too, so this is not going to be easy yeah, at all. Certainly on the cards and that, and um, and you think you just ride a par down at the end of the. See, end I got over swinging fast, but we nearly chipped in for the birdie though. That would have been awesome. That was going way past otherwise too. So good thing here. Good thing we did that. All right, so this is kind of just going to be a practice round to get back into the swing of things, and we actually just got a trophy for hitting the pin there, the pin seeker. And we are now up to 10% uh, on the trophies. See, this is what I've done the tutorial thing with the US Open versus Martin Keimer. I also, just to get the trophies, just loaded into a ranked game and uh, an unranked game and then just quit immediately. <laughs> I felt bad for my opponents. I did play like six holes actually against one of them. But, uh, yeah. If I aim straight at the flag, I should be up. On track for the fairway, but the wind's. I'm gonna aim here, yeah. yeah. 
It's definitely hard to, to do on tour. I remember having a custom setting before where I made it even harder than tour, to didn't I? On the here at the second hole. Go ahead, Ricky boy. I hope Ricky wins the Open this uh, this weekend. That would be awesome. Second shot. You deserve a major, Rick. Green. You really do. Okay, put a bit of loft on that bad boy. And just stick her close. You know how it is. Good swing, good shot yet again. Spin. Oh, it's wow, gorgeous. Frank, he He's in. back with a bang, yeah, baby. Some shot on that. He's Easy back buddy. with a bang. He nearly chips in for birdie on the first. And on the second, he's about to tap, tap, tap a roo Fowler for a birdie. Fowler is capable of going on torrid runs. This would be a birdie for Fowler. I am capable of going on torrid One runs. Under early in the round. You know how it is, baby. Thank you. Thank you. On the, the man, the myth, the, the legend, Ricky now. Fowler gets a one under par. Look relatively straightforward. Can a golfer get lured in a kind of a false sense of security off the tee here at the old course? No, well, you can. This hole, uh, the third hole, even shorter than the second, so reachable. But um, a lot of people tend to bail out towards the left. That's the middle of the it's golf course. It's not reachable. Course. And that me? leaves you a devilish little I just pitch, drove a 330 yards and I'm nowhere close. That protects both the, uh, How's that reachable? It's 400 yards, green. buddy. So once again, want to drive the ball down the right side, but there's a series of pot bunkers there. I miss this game, man. I wish they would have done more with it. I really do. They could have done so much more with this game. They could have done so much more with this game, but they just let us down, unfortunately. Sit down. Sit! A right. bit of overswing. I'm still getting used to the, the pace of the swing there. I really need to... Trying to hone my Frank skills again. Another birdie here. As just I said, I have just been playing golf ball. clubs. So. Fast. See, I'm hitting it fast on the downswing. That or on the... Really hurt, Frank, it yeah, on the downswing, I guess, for a putter. Well, the follow through, rather. Very would be well more accurate. Made it. Yeah, yeah be that no was plus five fast. Swing. That was really fast. The putting is where I need... The putting and the chipping, I'm hitting it fast and overswing. The tee shots I'm doing okay with. I'm blasting. See, even there, that was fast plus six. I think it's because I'm flicking it. I don't need to flick it. At the fourth hole now, and Frank, this one looks as though it might require a little bit of club selection off the tee. What are we looking at, partner? Well, there is two there, ways to play the fourth off the tee. You can hit it down the right side, but it you really starts to narrow up, and it's slightly shorter. Most players go towards the middle of the golf course and try and get it on that plateau. But, um, Perfect. Certainly, the first hard hold you see at St Andrews. Absolutely perfect. Rich, 336. We've seen Norman necklace over the years, but uh, that there is just excellent. Look at that smile. Lovely full turn. Give us that Plenty beautiful young smile, Rick. Right. <laughs> Made it look easy right there, and he, he's such a good-looking player when he's dialed in, swinging the he's way a good he is right player, now. Isn't he? Just a pleasure to watch. A pleasure indeed. That was a good one. That was much more smooth. Here, right off the center That's of the perfect. This has a just a little far, I think. Oh, no, it's oh, just man, ideal. I thought that might run on a bit, but that is ideal. I've got the ball, like, stops a Pretty lot more realistically in Roy McIlroy than it does in the golf club. Like, it'll run on in the golf focus. club where it'll, like, stop up in this game. Ooh, it's still fast, but just about another made it. Birdie. And that's another birdie. We get to two under par here. So it's quite the return so five. far. The first par five we've 32 seen of the first four, and we have a par five coming up. Like it narrows quite a bit, Frank. Are it's you fun to be back playing this, man. You step up onto the tee? Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze behind you, but um, it's quite wide in the driving area, oh, yeah. with the exception of those oh, three bunkers yeah. the right that just sort of pop Absolutely out. But, um, scorched it down the middle. My tee shots, this, I haven't done uh, anything wrong with it, any of them yet. All of them have been like 330 down the middle. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Big fist pump. Second shot coming up. I think that's going to be the thumbnail right there. Around nine minutes in. All right, uh, 203. I think I could hit the 191 here to be quite perfectly honest. Put a little bit of D loft on this bad boy. Let me go from there. I think I aimed a little far left. I did. I don't know why I aimed that far left. 
I don't know why I was aiming that far left. That was weird. I should have hit that just dead straight, man. Set to go. Not an easy shot by any means. Okay, just a little bit. A little bit. Ah, oh, see, that was fast. That was fast and overswing, so that's going to be too Putting far. all of his talents on display here. From still have a birdie putt, though. And he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. He is capable still of going have on that some birdie putt. runs. This would be a birdie for Fowler. You already said that this round, buddy. Goddamn pathetic commentator. That was still very fast, bang, but... Bang. Back to back just, uh... Runs. It was in the middle of the hole, thankfully, so... Ricky waves to the crowd. Out of the 300, and he's three under to five. Par four sixth, another scoring opportunity. Yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here, because that'll affect the strategy off the tee. But bunkers left and right to be avoided. Hell yeah! I just need to be a lot smoother with the follow through on the putts and the chips. Because I'm kind of doing like the golf club where I like just ask for anything flick more. it forward. But uh, that's not what I need to be doing here. Too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. That's not what I need to be doing. Setting up for another approach, our featured golfer has continued that excellent play from earlier in the round. Indeed, there's no better feeling in that the was world much than better. when you know you're firing on all cylinders. Hitting fairways, much better indeed. The what a right shot. Now, and Ricky is Fowler's going to be four Super under through shot. six. No, He's on fire. Uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries Big about fist pump one. from Ricky again. Three and he's four. Is nice, this is some return. Three is even We're not better. even playing that well. We're just, so four under with a just doing a... We're just scoring well. Scoring really well. Three birdies in a row there. On the seventh hole here at the old course. Yeah, blind tee shot. This is one uh, one hole that really does advantage the long hitter. Um, they can get it very close to this green, but this green has got some uh, amazing undulations in it. Dude, I remember we used to go for this green. 340 to that bunker up there. I'm going to go for it. It's going to be short, Headed but if bunker. I get over the bunker, I'll be happy. It's not going over the bunker. Dang it. Oh, no. Drive, but a bad lie. Uh, you think? Am I gonna have to hit this sideways or what? Second shot. <laughs> what? They just take us out of the bunker. Hey, thanks. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. They literally just take us out. I hit a bad shot and I'm just not punished for it at all. That That's dumb. Oh my god, we nearly hold it too. You were about to make a birdie out of that. We should have been punished for that. That's stupid. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just trying to take care of I would prefer they actually business. punish me for the bad shot there. Really Still on the putt stone, really fast on the way through. Birdie today. Huh. Par three eighth hole here at the Open Championship, and Frank Weiss. So Four birdies in a row to get the ball close here. Well, there's a the bunker on the left side. There's a little bit of a downslope there. This is the first par three that you'll play. And uh, it's just tough to judge that distance perception. You've really got to be accurate on your yardage here. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. God, I am good at this game, guys. I forgot and just how damn good I am right at this game. See it? It's Hit crazy. It? And he's got it right on I need to go back to like turning off the green grids design, and shit like is, that. Cause just making it look this so is just easy. I, I am. Just I'm making it look golf. so I mean, easy, dude. He is. Okay, I see what I'm doing now with the overswing. I'm like what leaving it too long. I see. Like I need to actually push it forward Always faster so than I am. But first nine that's five birdies in a row. Five in a row. Yeah, the ninth hole. This is the my return to Rory McIlroy is insane, boys. Um, in the middle of the loop here. A good drive, though, that avoids those bunkers has every chance of finding this par four. That's going to be shot. absolutely definitely perfect. Heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. Uh, is it, though? Is it, though, buddy? Is that the rough? Is that the rough? Yeah, that no, it's like not. You stupid commentator. You stupid idiot. By the way, guys, if you're interested in my other content right now, I'm playing Warframe on the channel, and I'm also the playing the golf club. So yeah, if you're interested in either of those games, make sure to check them out. Subscribe if you're not already. That's a good shot. It's a very that good shot. Be a great look at birdie. And that's another look for six birdies in a row.
I mean, this is amazing, Frank. He has knocked down every flag stick and a chance here for six birdies in a row. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Six? That's birdies. <laughs> and that's just another example of how Six birdies in a row. What is wrong with me? I'm cracked. Yeah, I never lost the touch, to boys. That. I'm about the to shoot 59. Perfect, and the pace has matched it. So let's have a look at this scorecard. Holy shit. I'm seven under. Holy. If I shoot seven under on the back nine, I shoot 58. <laughs> God damn. Six birdies in a row. Can we make it seven? Let's find out. St. Andrews. St. Andrews. I think this is where I got my 59 before, actually. It's not the most difficult course in the world. But there you have it. Straight down the middle, 330 That's every single time. Beauty. See, I need to put on the harder settings again already. Second like, I thought now, coming back, I... The, th the tour settings would be too hard for me, but <laughs> not at all. It's not the case whatsoever. It's still too easy. Seems to like it. Looks like it's You're damn right I like it. It's seven birdies in a row. What do you mean? What you mean, dog? What you mean do I like it? I goddamn love it. this putt, concentrating on the read. Boop. Really Easy. A good day and a good run right here. Two straight birdies now, eight under. Now to the par three eleventh and Frank. What's Did this man just here? say two straight birdies? Well, this, uh, green is dude, slightly elevated. it's been seven. Huge false front, sort of left and right of that Seven birdies. Bunker. And of course that this bunker on the hill. Dude, I swear. Well, should I say that bunker on the left is called Hill? It's the famous bunker where oh, no, Bobby Jones couldn't four. get out of it many years ago and actually ripped up his scorecard. So a good tee shot here. Just this is not going to be a birdie, I don't think, is. unless we can hold a Set relatively board. decent. Well, it's a chance. I thought I was going to go a little further. My return. Boy, this can we get eight birdies right in a row? Think. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Oh, <gasps> just not falling. Dude, I thought that was in the middle. It like burned over the edge. It was just going a little bit too fast. To make it. Holy. All right, Ricky it's a par. At the lip, we'll settle for it. Par. We'll settle Just for the par. Eight under through eleven holes. Falls. You know what? I wouldn't say no to it. Frank, I would not say Andrews, no to it. The history of the old course, it all sort of comes into view here at the twelfth, doesn't it? This is a ritual yeah, Very pretty hole. Eden Estuary to the right. Obviously, a, a nice view of. The township of St. Andrews in the distance. Nice little bit of loft on this. Hitters can just lick their chops and have a crack at this green. All they've got to do is worry about that little pot bunker short. But um, either in the breeze or if you're not along. Why is that going to our left? Those four bunkers that are well placed. Smack it's a goddamn shot field. and a half, though. And as he strides it's up, it's an eagle putt. Green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. This is a cross-country special. It's an eagle putt, is what it is. And we're gonna hole it. Still fast. Hitting everything fast on these greens, that was man. Not a very good read right there. Not Just a very a good read. I barely feet. missed it, man. Relax. And it's a birdie to get to 12 home. under. Or oh, sorry, not 12 nine under. under for the deck. Nine under. Here at the I talk about. Not bad though. Nine hundred. What's the best twelve holes played? Where do you go with Nine precision? Under. Well, you'd like to four nice more birdies of both to get a fifty-nine. Can, can we shoot a fifty-nine on a return? Is that even legal to middle, shoot fifty-nine on a return to PGA Tour? Coming in, and then you've got a chance to actually have a full view of the screen in the That's direction slow. of the sand. Don't go Looks the like it. No. You don't want to make a. Watch them take me out of the bunker here and put me on the fairway off the tee. Watch in, it. Ready for oh no, the they actually shot. did put me in the bucket. Yeah, second okay. shot here. Just try and aim a little bit behind that ball, an inch or two. Alright, I'm scared. Am I going to hit the ridge here? Yes, I am. No, I went back into the bunker. What was he thinking there? I don't know, I have honestly. no earthly idea. I have no earthly idea. No earthly idea. I thought it was going to stay in the fairway. Where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. No way we just hit it again. Really? I thought we were far back enough there. 
And this is going to be a disaster. Out of the sand and back hitting, on hitting the for fairway. power here. Yeah, good shot. Just uh, really utilized. Everything that was going so well. Years. Realized he couldn't reach the green, and instead opted that decision the making that cost us here today. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Not too unhappy with that, Frank. At 17. With this feet. for a bogey, though. And from that distance. It's uh, more than good. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Let's go. Well, All right, we made the bogey putt. Make putts just like that. Eight under, but that's disappointing. Our 59 Frank, has gone out the window now, unless we birdied the last five holes in a row. To but... Hole on the front side, explain. Yeah, that's the fourth hole. The fourth hole is adjacent to the 14th. Not bad. And if you're in a little bit of trouble off the tee, there's nothing wrong with playing the 14th as a zigzag style par five. So that means the drive, if it doesn't go down the right, you go further left and then back to the green. But uh, it's a safer way, but a much longer option. I'm just going to go straight at it. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway. Damn well freaking straight I did, buddy. Yards. This is what Ricky's going to shoot at the open day one, baby. Eight under par. Now the second shot through 13 five. holes with a bogey. Typical Rick. Typical Rick. Oh, Frank, I did you pulled hear the it? sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Pulled it. Oh, it's fine. Rich, I remember when I first played the old course. It was the Dunhill Cup. It was a team of not too bad. Up and down for a par. For Arthur Birdie around the world and. Um, my teammates were uh, Stuart Jin and Bob Charles, who'd won the Open Championship. And I remember pestering Bob Charles all the way around the golf course, the old course, where do I aim, what do I get away from a bunker? And, and um, at the time, I thought he was a bit of a curmudgeon, really, because the only thing he told me was not to hit it inside the TV tower on 17. And then I realized he gave me the greatest golf lesson I ever had, because he was telling me to play the golf course the way I felt I should. A lesson well learned, play your own game. Play with your instincts, especially at a place like the old course at St. Andrews, where, where you don't necessarily play by the book. I don't know if there is a book to get you around St. Andrews, except the best book of all, and that's the one of experience. And it makes the green in regulation. He is capable of going on some torrid runs. This would be a birdie for Fowler. And it is a birdie for Fowler. He says that he says that three times around, though, about Ricky Fowler and torrid runs. Frank, the 15th here at the old course, just a classic example of... Let's birdie the last four and shoot 59, boys. aiming for something that isn't even on the golf course. Exactly. There's a, a nice line there. In between the two humps that you can see in front of you off the tee, if you keep looking down, you'll see the church steeple. That's the perfect line for the tee shot. Got to be careful with the second shot coming up. Um, you see the 16th tee out of bounds to the right of this green. And that little pop Absolutely perfect. Up with the big boys now, Frank. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's further. Ricky Fowler, a Gen X superstar, ready with his approach shot. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. A little bit short. Oh, way short. There's only five mile an hour winds. I didn't think it would affect it that, that much. But up now, it's, it's a putt. A it's, a, it's a long putt. We can do Frank, it. I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line. I will not pick out driver either. Might have a chance. Yeah, I was going to say, how do I change view again on this game? But we got it. Breaks both ways. It's nine inches up. I just realized, yeah, there's no need for me to go that far past because I already Pretty hit good it fast. Stroke right there, just hit it through the break. So, <laughs> stupido. Sort of if it goes in, it's a bonus. Not a gimme, but well within his range. How did I still hit that fast? I was actively good trying effort. not to hit that fast, good but we still hit fast. Part. It's in the middle of the hole, but we still hit that fast. Another part for this All right, it's a par three holes remaining. We cannot shoot 59, but it's still a yeah, solid the, the round normal, of golf for our yeah, first round back. No really doubt about that. Series no doubt about that, indeed. Knows. I've never really figured out why they called that, but it's not the place to be, that's for sure. Stay short of those. 
is a safe line, and then a little. I like this hole once again in the front left of the screen called the. Wet. The last three in St Andrews are classic. Another dude. difficult green looks a little simpler from the fairway, but miss your mark with the yardage, and you'll pay a premium. Spin. Ooh, baby. Oh, Frank, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy All right, buddy. 10 under. Double digits under par. Getting set now over the putt. Ten under par Double under digits down. under par. And Ricky does the shooter McGavin. Let's go. Break the 17th hole. That one bogey you can cost get room us, service though. along the way here. Uh, you can. If you flare one right there, Love you'll also hole. play a penalty for out of bounds. And uh, so that hamburger better taste good. Better be worth it. A little left of that, a little left of the out of bounds, and you're left with a second shot. It's fairly daunting because you have the road hole bunker to avoid and the road behind the green. Hence the name. That should be just ideal. Straight out over it. 320 odd yards, 14, 314. Nice we'll be precise. We'll be precise. Be precise. Be we'll take that. that Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this yards. return to Rory McIlroy. I've enjoyed playing it. Frank, this and is a do drop a like if this is more content you want to see going sure. forward. Chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. It's all over. Here we go. It's all over it. It's a wonderful That's shot. Good stuff right there. Wonderful approach. And now, a really good look at Birdie. One of the game's most electric performers, Ricky Fowler, now over this Birdie putt. And he's buried it. He's buried it into the middle of the hole. And it's another Birdie. 11 under. We're about to shoot a 60 if we Birdie the last. And the last is very birdieable, by the way. I'm gonna bounce this on the path. Watch. I'm gonna bounce this on the path. Beautiful looking shot right here. Hit the green. Absolutely, way too far. All right, perfect. Let's birdie the last. Shoot 60. He has given 60 this at St Andrews in our return to Roy McIlroy. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Second shot now for Ricky Fowler. Mind it is. Good swing. It's good so shot. good. Yet again. It's he's so good. Very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Conceive it, believe it, and achieve it, baby. Shouldn't be a problem here. Wow. <gasps> that lip it's out, dude. It. No. Forever. That was because of the fast nature of that swing. I just need to figure out how to now. not hit the putts fast. I'm hitting every single one fast. Just an amazing like everyone. The records continue to but fall. I very much enjoyed really that. Round out there today. What's Damn the it, I don't get that trophy. There's a trophy for having a, a play now thing, round without really, getting a bogey. Just keep the same we nearly had that. We just had that with one stupid rest, bogey. We um, really hit really it in the goddamn... Hit the lip of the bunker twice. Yikes, dude. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Make sure to drop a big, big like on the video, and we'll be back with more Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. If you want to see it, let me know what you want to see on this game, what you want to see on the golf club, what you want to see on Warframe. It's all up to you guys. Let me know. I'll see you guys in the very near future. Peace out.